Hello everyone, welcome to Gord's Corner in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Today we're going to talk about a fast shoe from Saki, or a potentially fast shoe. Um, if I put it on, it would make me slightly faster, but mechanically it wouldn't be the best thing for me. Uh, I feel my pace, I'm a little bit on the slower side of things these days, but I'm just happy I can get out there and go. Um, if I was to use this shoe, it would basically be for the, like once every uh, four weeks, I might go and do a speed work where I'm doing some shorter so-called faster speed work, um, but for $350 for those few workouts, I have a few other shoes in my toolbox that I can rely on to, to, to satisfy that need. Um, but for those of you looking to run like your, your um, uh, sub 245 type marathon, your, your probably sub 2 or 130 half marathon, maybe your 40 minute and faster 10k runners, uh, definitely a shoe worth considering. It's a meant to go at those faster paces uh, to get the most efficiency from the shoe. When you're running slower, then you'll start to fight some of the mechanics of the shoe. And you, I mean, it's gonna feel light, it's gonna feel good. It's gonna, when you get off that toe off, it always feels like you wanna pop off your forefoot. But there might be some other shoes that you could consider for the more moderate, uh, the average runner out there. Um, the the concept of the shoe is the Power Run HG uh, HE in Sawyer's case, and high grade. Uh, some refer to it as the Holy Grail of the midsole materials. Uh, basically, uh, Saucony touts it as the highest amount of energy return, uh, bounce back coming from the the Power Run HG material. So the foam itself is meant to absorb a lot of cushioning when you run. Um, then as your foot comes down, it does have a carbon plate in the shoe. So that carbon plate, when your foot comes down, it engages the carbon plate with a degree of energy. When that energy gets past a point of a bend in the forefoot, it basically, it, it mechanically gets, it has a springboard effect. It returns that energy that's in the carbon to give you a bit of a springboard effect as you go forward. Um, so that's the idea of it. The foam decreases the energy on your muscles of your lower leg, uh, and the, the board, the, the carbon plate, gives you that springboard effect. So a combination makes the shoe a little bit faster performing that way. Um, outsole is a, like a blown rubber type outsole, fairly sticky, fairly tacky. Uh, does have the negative grip, uh, I like to refer to it as a negative grip, in that they put holes in the outsole uh, in the past where those holes are they would be a little lug that would stick out the lugs uh, to put that little lug on there it adds a little bit of thickness to it adds a little bit to the weight of the shoe so a lot of the companies in this category they're trying to improve the shoe's ability to give you grip and traction which the hole does it gives you something to grab as well decrease the weight of the shoe decrease the weight because they're cutting something away from that outsole material um, super super thin outsoles so again another thing that adds to why these shoes don't really uh, last very long um, two things the thin thin outsoles scuff off rather quickly and the carbon plate gets exposed to a lot more stress um, with because of the, the lightweight materials on them as well the, the combination of the, the amount of stress the carbon plate gets and the thinness of the outsole gives the shoes, they, they may say about 150, maybe 250 kilometers of functional use underneath the foot. So again, depending on what your goals are and things are, uh, a $350 shoe here in Canada, uh, you want to be uh, pretty sure that, yeah, that's the shoe for me. Um, does come with the optionals of a second lace, so you can dress it up, dress it down, uh, have fun one day, go go stealth white in the snowstorm uh, if you want. So it's entirely up to you. Um, they've simplified the upper by cutting out unnecessary areas of, of weight. Uh, if you run in an area where there's a lot of uh, dust and debris around, those openings might have dust and debris coming in the shoe. So that would be a drawback. Most people running in a race that justifies using this sort of speed, usually it's a pretty uh, well-groomed course and terrain that you're running on, more paved running surfaces from that perspective. They've taken the overlays that attach the lacing system to the shoe 
extended it and wrapped it around the back end of the shoe. That is your pseudo type heel counter in the back end. So that's all it has for the cupping to give you any sense of structure there. The second thing that they've done is they've added uh, side walls to the top end of the, uh, of the midsole. And that's where your foot, your heel is gonna sit down into. The deeper your heel sits into that, the little bit more stability is coming more from the, the midsole itself of the shoe. Um, again, this category shoe, most people are going to be running more midfoot, forefoot, um, so they're not anticipating a lot of heel strike. Although that being said, you start off the race, you're running fast, efficient, as fatigue factor sets in, then we start to migrate to more of a heel to toe, a heel to toe. Then you're going to rely on that stability function of the back end of the shoe to help keep you upright. Uh, you're not going off or not crashing inwards too heavily one way or the other. Um, the shoe coming in super, super light, just over 200 grams in a men's uh, size nine and a half. So definitely one of the lightest weight shoes in the, in the carbon plated uh, category. So good on you, Saucony, for doing that. Um, other than that, liking the shoe, um, but I do have my my reservations as far as who should use it um, and, and when they should use it. Thank you for watching. Have yourselves a great day. And send us your likes, your comments. And Ryan's quick to get a hold of me. If uh, you have questions or queries, if there's something we're missing, let us know and we'll do our best to get it out there for you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and stay well.